is the problem now? Hi! Life's not easy as Monarch of the Glove. We're not just friends, and Justine knows it. When there's no love lost between your loved ones... I've been slapping down uppity females for 40 years. Not gonna stop now. What is it? Venison. Cow. No escape from the problems they cause. I am leaving Glen Vogel due to personal differences with Mrs. Laird here. And no missing the new boy in town. I'm actually looking for freshwater crayfish. That's a new one. I won't be coming here anymore. Mother, what are you doing? Stopping you making a fool of yourself. Sunday nights are Glen Vogel nights. But what are you about to be quiet? You don't have to run off like this. Monarch of the Glen, the new series, Sunday the 7th of January on BBC One. The scandalous side of Victorian women. She could have a pick of what men she liked. It was like sitting next to a snake at the dinner table. I have no rights, only wrongs of Gothic buildings. So far as architecture was concerned, reason went to sleep throughout Victoria's reign. Quite an unusual structure, really. The Victorians didn't borrow from the past. They grave robbed. And the afterlife. But the body statues had their hideout right here. Victorian week. Here we go. The surprising side of Victorian life, death, morals and monuments. It's time. Starts New Year's Day on BBC Two. We've all got one perfect moment. That one perfect day. My children, so happy. James and Simon, Alice and Robert. And me. Do you trust me? My life. My house, my town, my factory, my wife. But she has finally had enough of me. My son, Robert, always fighting the world, even then. When I tell you to stand back, you stand back. Do you trust me? No. And James, always the loner. You never loved him. Who do you love? It's all there, waiting to happen. Childhood lasts a lifetime. In a land of plenty, new drama begins Wednesday the 10th of January on BBC Two. Robert Taylor, Kay Kendall and Robert Morley are the stars of our next film now on BBC Two. 15th Century Europe provides the backdrop for the adventures of Quentin Durwood.